memory is that I came into the studio and there was this guy standing there in a gabardine raincoat, a large, large bloke, and I had no idea who it was. And surprisingly, no one's saying, who's that person? What's he doing wandering around all our gear <laughs> in the studio? And then, um, then him coming into the control room and standing around. And how remarkable how long it was before anyone actually woke up. Finally, I think it was David who said, um, uh, Nick, do you know, recognize him? And I looked and I think I either shrugged my shoulders or at some point Dave sort of put me out of my misery and said, uh, it's, it's it. And uh, we just sort of stood there, or sat there and just sort of shell-shocked, basically. And then until somebody thought of something to say to him. And then we were all unbelievably shocked at um, his appearance. I mean, I didn't recognize, I didn't know it was him. But it was um, pretty, pretty affecting, really. I mean, Roger and Dave cried. You know, this slim, elegant, if bedraggled and dazed person that I'd last seen had turned rather balloon-shaped and had no eyebrows and not much hair. And there is the photograph of him in the studio at the time. And uh, you, if you looked at Sid in early 67 and Sid then, it was so different. It was a great loss. Um, and, you know, the imagining what he would have gone on to do is speculating on that, if you like, is, is he could have become so great.